McKay versus Kikorian. Kikorian is down. Kikorian pulls guard, slides across, thinking guillotine early. McKay on top, thinking I'm going to pinch, letting that go, come back to his feet. That was unexpected. Like McKay was having a perfectly good time on the mat. He just broke free, came free, changed his mind again, came right back down. Joey McKay, black belt out of Reno, Nevada. Double K, Keith Krikorian, black belt, 10th planet by way of San Diego. Kirkorian is thinking about manipulating this arm. You'll notice what McKay is doing. See how McKay has his right hand, but it's on the, the heel, right on that Achilles. Okay, he's lost it. He's lost it. This is a different position. Kikorian's chances have improved here. McKay pulls out. McKay is very composed. This young man is very, very relaxed. He reminds me a lot of Chase Davis. McKay coming back on top. Keith Krikorian is where he wants to be. Keith forced this position, guys, right? It's only 90 seconds ago. I'm just reminding you there was not a takedown. Krikorian sat down. He wants to be in this position. He wants to work from here. When I see, okay, round and round we go. McKay, I think, is going to come out on top of this if he wants to. McKay can change the position. He's choosing to stay here. McKay could just rotate and come out. McKay sees something he likes. All right, McKay back on top. Great Corian down. Whenever I see that an athlete is a black belt under 10th planet, in this case, Studio 84, I always keep an extra special eye because there is a bit of a broad stroke to paint the uh, 10th planet guys with, starting with an overwhelming flexibility. It is one of the first things that you are taught and preached by Eddie Bravo. Get flexible, get flexible, and then get more flexible. The other thing is the understanding of the EBI rules. Eddie tells me in practice that is all they train. They don't just have an open mat and go. They will have a set time where they look for finishes. They will then practice the overtimes. While most gyms are getting to that, while they are understanding the importance of the unified rules, I'm just sharing with you, when you're at 10th Planet and it's all you do, there's a built-in advantage, at least in my mind. Logically speaking, it would seem the longer you do something, the better you are at it. Look at how McKay is controlling these ankles. I want to come back to this. This is a trick in jiu-jitsu. If you're ever with somebody that you feel is better than you or is faster than you or is doing things you don't know, if you grab his ankle and push it to the mat, you will now stop him. It will not matter what his belt is in relation to yours. Grab his foot, shove it on the mat, and hold it there. It will stop him. He will have to deal with that problem. And I just like that anytime McKay gets a little bit lost, he goes back to that basic concept. Grabs the foot, shoves it in the mat, figures out where he's at, and builds from there. Gregorian on bottom. I will tell you, he chose to be here, but he's having a very hard time. While McKay does not look overly strong, his base is solid. Joey McKay's base is extremely solid. Joey McKay is a black belt under Robert Drysdale. Robert Drysdale is simply one of the best to have ever done it. And might be a better coach than he was an athlete. How do you like that? Some guys have all the luck, right? All right, Krikorian is thinking triangle here. He would have this if he had enough time. 24 seconds, he, he could do it. In theory, he could. Do it. This is a very slow, this, like this isn't comfortable for McKay, but it's not a huge problem either. All right, McKay has broken it. If McKay can pull this up, he's going to look to lock his hands together. If he can pull this up, he could look for a pass. Where that starts, where, where that squeeze isn't worth the juice, is a pass isn't worth a whole lot. 
when the only thing we're looking for here is submission. Just got a good look at the Cheese Chopper, one of the great sponsors of Submission Underground. Cheese Chopper was featured. All right, McKay wins this. McKay said, heck no, I don't want to defer. Give me your back, Krikorian. Cheese Chopper was featured on Shark Tank. Go! Tate Koenig was out there. Mr. Wonderful told him he'd give him 30% for his company. Tate called me live, asked me what I thought he should do. I told him, tell Mr. Wonderful to shove his 30% up his ass. And he did. And now Chael got 30% of Cheese Chopper. Mr. Wonderful was scrambling. Did you guys see that episode? He was scrambling. He was trying to put Tate down, and they were trying to edit it. Part they left out is where the young man told him he could take his idea and shove it. Krikorian on the back. Krikorian, very good here with this body triangle. Mason Fowler, Craig Jones, Gordon Ryan, Kyle Bame, the top back control experts all choose to ride this same way. They lock, oh, this is tight. Krikorian's got this very tight. McKay's trying to push up that elbow. This is going to be very slow. It's not a blood choke, but there is enough time. All Krikorian has to do is sit here. Yeah. Krikorian did everything right. He settled down. He didn't get excited and get more rambunctious. He did the opposite. And quite frankly, Joey McKay's defense was on point. Two plus two is not four in grappling, guys. Okay, there just aren't exacts. Joey McKay did everything right. He, d he defended that the way you are taught to defend it. That doesn't mean you're going to get out of it. It's one of those positions. Joey McKay and Krikorian, that was an excellent, excellent match. Kevin Keeney, please tell us the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission due to rear naked choke. At 48 seconds in the bottom half of overtime round number one, Keith Krikorian!